I'm showing you three raw vegan holiday treats so you can enjoy the Christmas season by eating healthy. Two of them are traditional and one of them just looks great. First, we're going to do raw gingerbread and for this add 100 gram of hazelnuts and 100 gram of almonds to your food processor. Next, we're also adding 100 gram of carrot that you have already grated before and we're of course for some sweetness adding our pitted dates and of course we're also adding 2 tablespoons of cacao powder. Next, the secret ingredients is some gingerbread spice so you can either buy something like this or if you have all the spice at home you can also do it yourself so it's cinnamon, orange peel, coriander, lemon peel, star anise, fennel, nutmeg, cardamom and clove I think and just add one tablespoon then mix all of this together and now you can already pull all of this together so it should easily stick together like this form a little bowl and then you can make it flat on your table you could also put this in a brownie tray or in a baking tray but it also works like this because we just have to form um, a square sh shape out of this so just do this with your hands and then cut it into little squares so it depends on how big you want your gingerbreads to be I just made like I think they're normally kind of this size so I just made like this kind of like a brownie size I would say and then you can just remove it from your from your desk with a knife it should work easily and put it on a tray that can um, stand the heat at uh, the heat the cold that you have in a freezer because we're going to add it for one hour in there and next just melt some coconut oil full chocolate around then put in one tablespoon of cacao powder and one tablespoon of maple syrup whisk this together and now you can take out your little pieces and just dip it in there it's such a satisfying feeling and they turn out so well you can add them again in the freezer for a bit but it freezes really fast because they're already frozen and then you're already finished Next we're going to make Santa hat cupcakes and I already did kind of a similar recipe in my Halloween treats video and for this we're going to add almonds and dates to our food process and blend this together for our base. Next we're going to add in some cinnamon and some water and then blend it again until it gets a sticky consistency because now we're going to get our muffin tray and just place little portions in there and make it flat and then we're going to put this in our freezer during we prepare the filling and for the filling we are going to add some almonds and some water to our food processor because we're going to blend this to have some almond milk for a little bit of liquid next we're going to add in our soaked cashews to this and then we're going to add some coconut oil and some maple syrup and now we're going to blend this already again until we get a really cool and creamy consistency and this we are going to put on our bases and just there yeah, put a little portion on there and then make it flat and then we are going to put this in our freezer again then we prepare the next part but uh, yes you will have something left which we're going to need later so just put it aside and place it a little bit in your fridge and now for the other part we're going to add some soaked cashews again but we're also going to add strawberries to this to give it this color then of course some coconut oil again and also some water to make it more liquid and then just blend this and then fill it in such a cupcake pipe or however you call it and form a little cupcake out of this so cupcake frosting out of this it makes really much fun I love doing that and then we can just take our leftover and put a little bowl in it and it's done Last we're going to make traditional spice Christmas cookies and for this you're adding 100 gram of cashew nuts and 100 gram of almonds to your food processor and of course we're also adding dates again, 100 gram of this and we're going to add our spice so you can either mix it at home if you have all the spices or just buy a ready spice or it contains cinnamon, orange peel, lemon peel, cardamom, cloves, coriander and nutmeg and just add one tablespoon to your food processor and then blend this together and if your dough isn't sticky enough you can just add in some water and blend it again and then you can already put this on your 
desk you can either put this in the fridge for about an hour so you have like a really cool consistency like you do when you have like normal um, dough but you can also do it like this and it would also work you can just do it how you want then just roll it out or make it flat and then you can cut out with some Christmas cookie cutters you can just cut out the forms if it doesn't work you can just remove the leftover stuff and then just take it with a knife like this so it kind of also work like this way then just put it on the tray and put it in your freezer for about an hour and then you can enjoy your cookies. Thank you.